Hi everyone, so today we're going to show you how to get up and running with MATLAB and one of these Arduino boards. Okay, in this case this is a um, an Arduino compatible board from Seed Studios. It's called a Seed Wino version 4.2. It has <clears throat> a basic uh, layout similar to what you would find on an Arduino Uno. All right, so what's important to point out is that I have right here a micro USB cable. This is similar to the types of micro USB cables that you would get with uh, older telephones, older cell phones. It's important that you have a good quality one because they have four wires that run inside of, of the cable itself. If you have a power only one, it only has two wires and it won't work. So you have to make sure that you use, say for instance, the cable that came with your board. All right, so this is the board right here. I'm going to take my micro USB cable, which is plugged in on the other side to my computer. If you have a USB-C style uh, computer, like a, a recent uh, Mac, then they'll have this sort of connector on it and you will require a hub that, uh, that you plug into. So for instance, you would plug this into a hub and then this into your computer. Now, otherwise you're plugging this end, which is a regular USB, uh, old school USB into your computer, which I'm gonna do right now. Now I've got a Mac, so I've got a hub, so I gotta plug that into the hub first, which then plugs into my computer. And then from there, I take my micro USB and I plug it in like that, okay? now. There's a program already sitting on top of this computer or this microcontroller board, this Cduino board. So that's why it's flashing right now, but I'm gonna show you how to make it flash anyway. All right. So what we do is we go into the Arduino IDE, the Arduino uh, program. It's separate from MATLAB. I go to um, examples, basics, blink. And this is um, a sample program that's on here. It basically says that I write to the digital pin, I delay some, I write to the digital pin again. Which digital pin? Well, it's D13. Uh, you don't have to worry about that uh, because there's um, a synonym basically uh, built in already into the program. So uh, what do I do next? I go into tools. I take a look at, let me see, port. I check to see what port it's connected to. In this case, it's not Bluetooth. It's going to be USB modem, but I'll show you what happens when I disconnect the board. It's now disconnected. I go back to tools, I go to port, and lo and behold, only that Bluetooth thing, which is a device built into my computer, which we're not using, is available. So I can't actually see the connection name for this board. So now I'm gonna plug it back in like that. I cycle through again, I take a look at port, and sure enough that USB modem is back because I plugged it in. So I click on that. Next, I choose the type of board. Now, the Seed Studio Seedwino compatible board is not listed on here, but it's compatible with at least two different configurations of regular Arduino. First is the Arduino Uno, this one right here or, and this might be useful for you in a future lab, the Arduino Nano. Don't worry about the Nano for right now, we're gonna pretend it's an Uno. So Arduino Uno. Then I'm gonna click on the check box right here. It should compile the sketch. The sketch is now compiled. Now I'm gonna download, or I'm sorry, upload to the board. So I'm sending it on there and you'll see some lights are gonna flash or they have flashed already and now it's running again. Let me run that again one more time. Okay, so when these lights over here light up, it means there's communication going on and then this LED right here is the one that we want to flash at a particular frequency. Okay, and that frequency can be changed and I'll show you Let's make that uh, 2000, actually make it faster. We'll reduce the amount of delay. 500, and 
500 compile and send and now the frequency of the flashing is higher so I've shown you how to check to make sure that your board is working using the default sort of software now we also want to do it not in the Arduino IDE but in MATLAB so I'm switching over to MATLAB now I'm now going to type in a is equal to Arduino like that this is in MATLAB in the command window and I need to take the address for the Uno or my C Duino from here right there so I'm going to say open single quote slash dev slash cu dot USB modem one four two three one zero one now that value that name will change based on your machine and the type of board that you're connecting if you've got a Windows machine a Linux machine a Mac um, whether it's one of these boards or a different board it will be different so you have to find what that address is using the Arduino IDE next um, let me see from there I want to say that I am using I want it to, to invoke UNO compatibility, which is basically the mapping of pins and things like that. But basically it says, this is the type of board that I'm using. I'm saying it's an Arduino UNO. I hit enter and it will, MATLAB will then reach out to the Arduino IDE and it will reprogram the board. Let's watch to see what happens. All right, so it says it's going to update the board. In your window, you may see the Arduino um, splash screen show up which is good it may happen once or twice and then you should see some communication lights the ones right there light up in a second or two or a few seconds oh there we go it's writing it's writing it's writing it's putting the memory program in there now it's currently programmed. What that just did is it put a, a listening program on my Arduino board, on the chip. Uh, let me see which chip is it. It's, uh, I believe it's that one right there. It put it on the chip that's on the board and now it's ready to listen to MATLAB. Okay, so how should I make it listen to MATLAB? Watch, I will write a, pro I will write a command. I'll say write um, digital pin what object do I want to reference? I want to uh, reference object A, which is the Arduino object. I then want to say that I want to access pin D13. And then I want to write it a true value. Okay, so I want to send the logic value true to it. I hit enter and it should light up. There we go. That blue light right there just lit up. Now I'm going to hit the up button I'm gonna say false false should turn off that blue light and it turned off now I can do something similar I can say instead of true I can see one and that does it as well I hit up again and I make it zero instead of false and it should turn it off one more time okay so there you have it we have an Arduino compatible board it's Arduino Uno compatible. We've shown how you can identify it using the uh, Arduino IDE, which is a fantastic little program. It's free and you can download it and you need it anyway um, to identify how it's connected, like which cable is understood to be connected to your computer. Okay, then you take that information after you verified it and you place it in MATLAB using the commands that I just outlined, okay? And then you do a test to see if the, the, the test LED on D13 will flash on and off using the commands I just showed you. All right, take care everyone. Mm -hmm.